hikers, Adam here. And these are the best waterfall hikes in New Hampshire. We're starting off at number 10 with Thoreau Falls. Located in the Pemigewasset Wilderness, Thoreau Falls is an 80 foot tall cascade and slide waterfall. And the falls is found on a 9.7 mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of off the beaten path. I thought this falls was so freaking cool and it came completely out of nowhere. I was utterly shocked with both its scenic sliding magnificence and also the stunning views you get on the hike to reach it. While the main hike to the falls is very easy, hiking down to the base of the falls is very rough and not recommended. There is also a bonus falls at the Zealand Falls Hut halfway through your hike. All of these cool features clinches Thoreau Falls its spot here at number 10. At number 9 is the Basin Cascades Trail. Located near Lincoln, New Hampshire, the Basin Cascades Trail is a series of four different waterfalls with tons of connecting cascades. You have the Basin, an 8-foot tall plunge into a punch bowl, Kinsman Falls, a 15-foot tall plunge falls, Rocky Glen Falls, a 35-foot tall cascading falls, the Baby Flume, a 6-foot tall slide and flume falls, and then there are hundreds of feet of chutes, cascades, skates and slides connecting them all together that go unnamed. And the falls are all found on a 2.4 mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of off the beaten path. I'm disappointed that I had driven by the basin so many times on my way to other Franconia sites before I finally checked this out, and it was simply delightful. I not only marveled at the swirling stream in the basin, I also had fun exploring all of the many nearby cascades. I do think that my favorite falls was that basin punch bowl. Followed closely by all those unnamed cascades, I just simply love scrambling over all of those slabs trying to find all of the coolest stream pathways. It's all of those great and easy to reach waterfalls that you chase down which easily brings the basin to its spot here at number nine. At number eight is the Falling Waters Trail. Located near Lincoln, New Hampshire, the Falling Waters Trail contains a series of three significant waterfalls on Little Haystack Mountain. You have Stairs Falls, a 15 foot tall cascading falls, Swift Water Falls, a 60 foot tall mix of cascades and plunges, and Cloudland Falls, an 80 foot tall fanning horsetail. And all the falls are found on a two and a half mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of a road less traveled. It doesn't get more classic than this. These are the falls that greet many hikers who are just starting the Franconia Ridge hiking loop. But these magnificent cascades, especially Cloudland Falls, are well worthy of a hike all on their own. You will be just in awe when you see the tall cascades of Cloudland Falls streaming down towards you. It'll become quickly obvious why these scenic falls are in so many photographs and earn their spot here at number 8. At number 7 are the Amanusik Ravine Cascades. Located near Sargent's Purchase, New Hampshire, the Amanusik Ravine contains a series of three significant cascades. The Gem Pool Cascades is a 35 foot tall horsetail falls, and the two upper falls are 100 foot plunging horsetail cascades. And the falls are found on a 4.2 mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of a road less traveled. I thought these cascades were simply stunning. I could not even believe how tall they were, and the foggy clouds the day of my hike added even more to their mystery. I'd expect nothing less from Cascades on New England's tallest mountain. Personally, I preferred the upper falls to those at the gem pool, but they each have their own appealing quality, well worthy of a spot here at number 7. At number 6 is Ripley Falls. Located near Crawford Notch, New Hampshire, Ripley Falls is a 100 foot tall horsetail and slide water. Waterfall, and the falls are found on a one mile long out and back hike with the difficulty of off the beaten path. Can you tell that I love myself a super tall waterfall? Ripley Falls sure fits that bill in spades. It's just so enjoyable and relaxing to watch as the water cascades and slides down the huge slabs. I love how close you can get to this falls to truly marvel at its immense height, easily securing a spot here at number six. At number five is the Flume. Located near Lincoln, New Hampshire, the Flume 
is a series of various falls and cascades in the Flume Gorge and surrounding area. You have Table Rock, a 500 foot long slide falls, Avalanche Falls, a 45 foot tall plunging cascade falls, and finally Liberty Cascade, a 70 foot tall horse tailing cascade. And all the falls are found on a 2.2 mile long loop hike with a difficulty of a walk in the woods. You all knew this would be appearing somewhere on this list. Such a cool boardwalk hike through that stunningly scenic gorge could not be ignored. It's thrilling walking over the cascading stream and right next to Avalanche Falls. Don't forget to check out the other many cool landmarks, cascades, and viewpoints on this delightfully fun trail. It's even a blast when you visit it in the winter when you can see the ice climbers. What an easy choice for number five. At number four are the Beaver Brook Cascades. Located near Woodstock, New Hampshire, the Beaverbrook Cascades are a series of around 10 or more cascades, plunges, and horsetails falling 600 feet down the side of Mount Musala. And the falls are found on a two mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of a hike and a half. I know this is a tough, steep, and grueling hike, but gosh darn it, you won't find a greater number of scenic cascades crammed into one place in the whole state. I tried to count them as I ascended, but then I started to lose count when I began reaching the double digits. This hike will surely challenge you, but I believe you'll quickly agree with me that it is well worth the effort. Easily worthy of a spot here at number four. At number three is Beaver Brook Falls. Whoops, do you see what I did there? Located near Colebrook, New Hampshire, Beaver Brook Falls is an 80 foot tall dribbling horsetail falls. And the falls is found on a 0.3 mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of a walk in the woods. Simply jaw dropping. That's all I kept thinking when I immediately saw this waterfall when I pulled into the parking lot. And the falls only proceeded to get more beautiful and scenic the closer I got to it. I loved how the water fell in such unique patterns. Maybe it even looks like it's hitting and falling off of an umbrella at the top of the falls there. And it's totally awesome that there are trails to enjoy the falls from both sides and at the base. This falls was certainly a clear choice for number three. At number two is Glen Ellis Falls. Located near Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire, Glen Ellis Falls is a 64 foot tall powerful plunge falls. And the falls is found on a 0.4 mile long out and back hike with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. Only one word could describe this waterfall and it's splashed past it. That's what you get when you combine an awesome plunge height with crazy raw power. Well that and a guarantee to get you wet from all of that that waterfall mist. It's simply breathtaking to experience in person and to feel so small. The nicely built trails with all of the staircases also makes this falls very easy to access. The multiple upper and lower viewpoints make this falls easy to admire and see why it earns its spot here at number two. Now before we make it all the way to number one, let's check out some honorable mentions. First we have Bead Falls. I was just intrigued by this falls unique shape and it makes for a great style in Sandwich. Next is Giant Falls. While this falls is unbelievably tall, it unfortunately has very low water flow. This falls is best visited only in the very early spring or directly after a storm to truly appreciate it. Lastly is Paradise Falls. This is honestly a rather unremarkable plunge, but the gorge and the trail to the falls is anything but. Tons of boardwalks and caves to explore make for a worthwhile visit. And that means that the best waterfall hike in New Hampshire is Arethusa Falls. Located near Crawford Notch, New Hampshire, Arethusa Falls is a 160 foot tall horsetail waterfall. And the falls is found on a 3.2 mile long out and back hike with a difficulty of off the beaten path. There simply could not have been any other choice. No other waterfall on the list comes anywhere close to this falls height. And it has the most scenic cascading stream to boot. You'll easily want to spend an eternity in this fall's shadow, craning your neck up to try and see it all at once. Also, don't forget to check out the other two scenic falls and slides on your hike up. Arethusa Falls quickly became my favorite and easily earned its spot here at number one. <laughs> 